Hey everybody, Dutch Sense here. 11.07 p.m. Central Time on Friday, February 14th, 2014. And we're looking at Earthquake 3D here, which is a USGS feed of the most recent earthquakes. And you can see a 4.2 magnitude earthquake struck in South Carolina. Originally, it was a 4.4. And let's go ahead and get the statistics on this. Now, the USGS has now downgraded it to a 4.1. So we're looking between 4.1 and 4.4 in the final magnitude. That will be refined out over the next several days. But three miles deep, and that is on the eastern edge of the North American Craton. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, I put out an earthquake update on the 8th. So we're looking at almost six days ago. And I talked about the earthquake activity that was happening in the Midwest, showing you the swarm that was happening in Oklahoma told you guys to watch Yellowstone for possible movement and along the eastern seaboard for possible 4.0 movement in the near term over the next two weeks. And that was starting on the 8th. Now, since then, there's been a 3.5 at Yellowstone directly and now a 4.4 struck here along the eastern edge of the Craton, just as expected. Now, the reason this is expected is because of the spillover effect that's coming over from the west. And it starts to show first, beforehand, before we see this East Coast movement, we first see heavy activity at the fracking operations at Colorado, Oklahoma, and Arkansas, and usually a series of natural earthquakes at the Yellowstone supervolcano directly, all preceding the East Coast movement. Now that directly conflicts with what we're taught about the Mid-Atlantic Ridge spreading, causing earthquakes to come from the East spread to the West. Instead, the subduction process on the West Coast is not able to keep up with the intense activity over on the West Pacific. And the entire Pacific plate is in flux, and it's causing a spillover effect that I've talked about now ad nauseum that's happening across the edge of the North American craton. The edge of the plate, the undeformed edge, is being displaced. So this 4.4 that just struck on the East Coast that was expected. It was forecast on the 8th by me. You can go watch the video down below. And again, the reason we're watching is because of the previous activity just to the west occurring along the edge of the craton. You never know when an earthquake can strike. And on the east coast, you can watch for earthquake movement to your west and southwest. And when you see that occurring, you know to be prepared for possible movement in your area. This kind of well, is new geology, they would say normally that earthquakes are not related, that they don't spill over. But I would say when we see this progression that occurred over the last week, when I'm watching a swarm occur in Oklahoma, and I've seen previously earthquakes occur along the East Coast after swarms in Oklahoma and Arkansas, well, that just says that there is a definite, definite connection. Be safe, folks. Much love.